Okay, guys, this weekend in trials, the three-win reward is the honor rifle of the Sumner. Now, I know there's a good portion of you that will never step foot inside of trials, and I don't blame you. Already this afternoon, we ran into two teams of cheaters. But honestly, there's going to be a lot of that this weekend. There's also going to be a lot of recoveries because the Sumner being present as a three-win reward weapon, that's going to be something a lot of people are going to be going after. This is an auto rifle that's good inside of PvP, arguably one of the best auto rifles. I actually put it a notch above Gnawing Hunger and just a notch below Gilead. But honestly speaking, all these auto rifles, these 600, Summoner, Gilead, Gnawing Hunger, they're pretty much all tied. They're very, very good autos. But Summoner is also a fantastic auto rifle for PvE. We're going to go over the roles in just a second. First up, guys, before you begin trials this weekend, go by, pick up the weekly bounty. This bounty will give you the three win reward for that weekend. So this is essentially giving you a Summoner. You can't repeat this bounty, but you can do this bounty on all three of your characters so feel free to run over there pick up this bounty and you just have to do completions match completions inside of trials i don't know how much of a grind it is normally after a card i would be finished with this bounty although wins do progress this bounty faster but you can do this on all three characters and still get a summoner and if you happen to make it to three wins you also get the summoner to drop for you on your third win so hands down i know trials is not in the best state i know not every one of you want to play trials but if there was ever a weekend to do it this would be the easiest weekend out of all of them to get the summoner auto rifle as it's on the very low end of win rewards now as far as the weapon perks i would choose for this auto rifle because we talked about god rules in the past but there's been a few changes most notably to dynamic sway reduction it got a buff in season of arrivals that's right dynamic sway range finder an excellent combination for an auto rifle and if you wanted to go the extra mile with something like ricochet rounds to boost the stability even more with a small bump there in range voila you're perfect now this weapon does have a 57 recoil direction so not exactly vertical i would say arrowhead break not necessary for mouse and keyboard users but for console users especially if you want this weapon to be just easy cheesy vertical for you go with arrowhead it'll kick that recoil direction up pretty nicely still won't be perfect but manageable. The other roles that are pretty good, moving target and range finder, something that Drewski's always said he liked. You got great target acquisition. They increase their range. You can definitely go that route. Part of me wants to try a Zen moment elemental capacitor role with a void subclass. Elemental capacitor gives you like the subtle weapon bumps based on your subclass. So for solar, you actually have increased reload speed. Arc, you get increased there in handling. Void, you get increased there in stability. I really like this guys the stability bump from rocking a void subclass is something i use all the time on my dire promise one of my favorite roles in the game right now combine that with say something like zim moment it could be pretty stupid if you're just purely trying to go after a stable role but you can also just go that route with say something like move a target for that better target acquisition or even dynamic sway there's just so many different options here which is why i want you to go after this auto rifle this weekend guys because there's a good chance you'll get a pretty decent role now i mentioned that this auto rifle isn't just good inside of pvp it's got what you want for pve overflow rampage excellent one of my favorite perk combinations on weapons like gnawing hunger this is essentially the same exact thing you can roll with something like a pendant mag or even extended mag although i would recommend a pendant as you won't hurt that reload speed combine these things together especially if you're rocking something like axiom war rig fellas you will hardly ever have to reload the other trade combination is actually dragonfly and overflow together which is also an excellent option. Those are pretty much the only two roles I would go for for my PvE players, but it's definitely a role I wouldn't overlook. And considering that this weapon doesn't sunset until season 14, you got a little bit of longevity here with the summoner. So good luck this weekend, guys. Trials, well, trials is trials. Shores is the map for this weekend, an old school D1 map. Unfortunately, this map does kind of aid cheaters a little more if you happen to run into them. It also aids passive play. If there's one suggestion I would make about this map, be wary of going on flanks this is not a map that is fast and easy to get the rotation on meaning whoever you send on a flank or even if you go on a flank yourself nine times out of ten the other team will just collapse on you thus putting your team at a major disadvantage like there's some maps out there that hey if you want to go on a flank go right ahead and sometimes you have to go on a flank this is
this is just one of those maps because it has that big portion there in the middle that big mass rotating is not as quick there's too many choke points that flanks really aren't the best control point though is right over there near dark and b point which is where a lot of the gunfights will take place especially against teams that like to back up to the edge of the map having a sniper is almost a must at least one sniper on your team i hardly ever play with revoker and look at me i'm playing with revoker you almost got to on this map because there's just so many people that will sit in the back of the map and wait for you to push them depending on their spawn one gun though that jay was using and he uses it every single time on this map and it's actually a fantastic weapon is vigilance wing low key is a meta weapon for not just trials but especially this map because there's just so many mid-range engagements most of your gunfights will take place at the mid-range to long range so having something like vigilance which does have an excellent time to kill and again it's optimal time to kill of like 0.77 seconds requires only five crits and five bodies you're talking about a 50 percent crit requirement super forgiving and it's got good range that's a low-key meta weapon for this map and i'm surprised we don't see more people using vigilance wing rock something like that you'll be amazed how many teams you take by surprise with this gun outside of that subclass usage whatever you're comfortable with that's something we always say to people when we do runs with them anytime we ever hold raffles and do carries always use the subclass that you have the most experience with especially for my guys that don't really dabble inside of pvp take whatever subclass in there with you that you like to use inside of pve you know the neutral game you know the parameters that the subclass poses it's a good chance that's going to transition well inside of pvp this is a great map though for coding the missile considering how passive players play getting to those far reach corners where the enemy is at it does a very good job nova bomb was actually doing really good for me for enemies that were sitting inside of dark i like to rock bottom tree nova and play off devour and again supers isn't everything neutral game is also really important which is why we highly recommend here guys to use subclasses that you feel the most comfortable with because those are the subclasses that in the heat of the moment under stress when you have to dip back down into muscle memory you're going to remember the strengths of that subclass whether that's the neutral game or the super so guys those are our suggestions for this weekend good luck and godspeed to every one of you fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always and cross is the one that was building it's not good we have ot though but no, no. what's your intellect less uh one minute left my friend seven can you get seven so I do have three snipes, one for each person, you know what I mean? Okay, Les. I have my grenade and I have my wall. Just bait me, Les, because you're sniping. How many are looking at B right now, Cross? Can you see? Can't. They're not even on my body. Yeah. I heard the sword, so... And it's the hunter, because it was a little dinky sword. Seconds left. On the sound. <laughs> One okay, one is one is sword peeking right outside dark on the right side of it if you're looking down dark. They're playing for that spec for sure. He already used it, he's not gonna get it back. He's gonna get it back. Ten seconds. Glass no He's rocking he's rocking eighty three intellect. Alright, take your time now. Make him storm, make him storm. Make him storm. There, there you go. go. That's huge. That's huge. All right. Dude, if I hit that headshot on them, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Thunder crash should be thunder crash right now. He might get a spec. Uh, he's at 83. If it goes OT, he will. I just want to meet them at OT, honestly. I will get my super crash. boys. Go. I'll thunder crash where they do. Sounds good. Go around the back side. Let's let's keep our distance. Everybody keep our distance. They're playing. They're, they're playing inside. They're playing back. They're not playing. So they are just playing for the spec then. I have a Goldie, uh, so you can just play Cav and then press the quest on Pop and just... Well, mm, how close are you to Goldie? Because we I'm have OT. Get it. Oh, we have, honestly, I'd, I'll get it. now I'd rather play OT, honestly, because they didn't meet us. They ran. You might even get your... You'll get yours too, Cross. Let's be careful. Somebody might be coming from big doors. Yeah, I'm... Yeah. I'm going to go over by C. I'm going to I'm going to camp over by C to keep them honest, okay? That way you guys can focus on OT cuz there is someone at elbow. There is definitely someone at elbow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they use the storm. So this is huge. 1 minute left, my friend. There's one still elbow. I'm just I'm just staying over here to keep them honest so you can't get the easy flank angle. 
Because only the Spectral has really gotten very many gun kills. The other guys have not done much this game. They really haven't. I'm about to have mine. You gotta make it so... You're gonna Cap sit on... Up. Yeah, you... we're, in a good, we're in a good spot here. You, I'm gonna Flash. sit on Cap, and I will bait yep. myself uh, with, with my... Flash. And I was yeah. super out of there. Lest you sit in the back with your Goldie. Yes, sir. There is seconds left. I'm gonna probably be offensive with my crash to get one of them because if I get either the Titan or the Hunter down, we probably win. Les, what's in front of you? Anything? I don't see shit. I don't see anything. I'm sorry, big these guys. Because why not? We're doing it. Ten seconds. They're not gonna come from C. They're all gonna come from B and whatnot because I'm holding them in shrine. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. I'm letting. I'm letting them bait. Push through this. Take the zone and claim victory. Specs on me, specs on me. There you go, good nade. I got one of the nades. That's good. Right on you, Jay, right on you. Get him! It is in them. Oh, shit! Right. <laughs> oh, oh, good good shit, thunder Jay. Crashed. I thunder so crashed. Funny, I thunder That's crashed so to, uh... Escape his thunder crash. <laughs> <laughs> Slap that like button like your mama told you right.